endemic human rights violation, the failure of the state to fulfill and guarantee them, an impunity and indifference with which the state responds to the suffering of citizens have only fueled citizens' frustration and atrocities across the country. There have also been very little accountability for the various crimes perpetuated against individuals and communities in the past. The misapplied quest for justice often results in self-help, reprisal attacks which morph and snowball into bigger crimes and conflicts. More importantly, the rights of the most vulnerable, women, children, and disabled people, and, indig and indigent persons must be respected by ensuring equality before the law and prioritization by the state. The must end impunity. Um, the government must stop awarding blanket amnesty to certain crimes that were once labeled ethnic and religious crisis, communal crisis, or political violence. We must ensure equality before the law and ensure transparent and accountable systems for justice. Negotiating with organized criminal groups does not fall within the confines of justice or bring permanent peace. While extrajudicial killings and security forces brutality arrive in Nigeria, they're not always carried out by state factors. Quasi-state actors such as civilian JTF, ISPA, Amutekun, and others have become a regular feature in Nigeria's security architecture, but they're not being held accountable for the various crimes that they commit in the line of their exercises. While the government explains them as children of necessity to augment efforts of state security agents, it is important to note that the box stops at the government's door as enablers of their excesses. It's also critical to note that disarming these quasi-public security actors of their arms and powers will be a high task that their services it will be a hard task when their services will no longer be required. Finally, Nigeria needs to secure its borders and employ its ungoverned spaces. Ungoverned spaces have provided physical arbor for several organized criminal groups across the country, especially in the north. While porous land borders have ensured the ease of, it, of the importation of arms, and they escape after their activities. State governments must therefore annest the ungoverned spaces for development and to improve the GDP of their states by establishing social infrastructure that promotes economic activities and structures for human development. And finally, the federal government must work to ensure and improve security of the nation's border. Now, this is a summary of our report, which um, we will now stand to share with you.